So in this lesson we are going to use Grafana to connect to Redis data source and going to create some visualization. Now as I shown you previously we do already have some ready made Grafana templates which you can go and get from Grafana dashboards repository. So here we are going to make use of this Redis template which is already available and you can see this is the kind of dashboard which we are going to see. Now this is specifically designed if you really have Redis cluster so you can go ahead and monitor all of the parameters of Redis cluster but I'm also going to show you how to manage and monitor redis standalone database and then we are also of course going to go ahead and create a redis cluster and i'm going to show you how that is going to be shown here when you are configured that and monitor that using grafana so first of all we are going to go ahead and create a redis instance so here you can see i'm just connected to a server and here docker is already installed so if i do docker ps you can see there are some containers which are already running but uh, this is not what we need we are just going to go ahead and run a redis instance so i'm just going to do docker run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name let's give it a name i'm just going to call it redis1 and we are also going to expose port which is 6379 6379 now don't worry if you are not understanding this you don't really need to understand docker because this tutorial is about grafana so basically we are just going to go ahead and create a docker container which is going to be running redis instance now here let's go ahead and do redis now once we do that we should be able to see a new container running so here you can see we do have a new container and this is called redis1 now i also have redis cl already available on this system so if so if i want to connect to this redis instance i can do redis hyphen cli or let me just go ahead clear the screen first we can do redis hyphen cli and we'll be connecting to this uh, redis in instance now we can do keys space star and here you can see right now we do not have any keys available because basically it's a new database so let's go ahead and start monitoring this and see what are the options which are being shown in grafana so here in grafana we are going to go to connections and then we can just go ahead go to add new connections and here search for redis here you can see we do have redis click on that and then click on add new data source now here we are just going to call it redis data source and i'm just going to call it standalone and here we need to provide the address of redis where we want to connect so i'm going to to give redis colon double slash 192.168.1.19 and port is 6379 we do not have any database password setup yet but in your case if you do have db password setup you need to provide that password here for now everything looks okay i'm just going to go ahead and click on save and test and you can see everything is working as expected now we are going to go ahead go to dashboard and here we can go ahead and create a dashboard or in this case since we want to go ahead and import a dashboard so what we are going to do is we are going to copy id to clipboard and then we are going to go ahead and click on import dashboard and we are going to paste the id here then click on load and here in the redis data source we need to select the data source which we want to connect to so we want to connect to redis data source standalone so we just need to select that and then click on import now once you do that you can see this is the dashboard which has already been and here you can see of course there are some options which are related to redis cluster which is not really applicable for this uh, standalone redis instance so you can just go ahead and minimize it now here you can see all the available information about redis you can see the number of keys which has been created in redis so right now we of course see zero keys i'm just going to change this auto refresh interval to 10 seconds and we are going to go to redis and insert some keys there then we are going to see whether those changes are reflected here or not so we are already connected to redis cli we are just going to do set and then provide some key value pairs so let's say we want to insert products so i'm just going to add product one and let's say this product is maybe laptop and then we are going to insert another product product two we want to probably add camera entry let's go ahead and add another product and this is going to be probably gopro so now we have three keys here we can go ahead and see these keys by doing keys space star you can see we have three keys if you want to see value of any of these product we can just go ahead and do get product two and we are going to get output as camera because in product 2 we had inserted value of camera now here you can see as soon as we come to grafana dashboard we have number of keys being shown as 3 because we have now 3 keys available and you can see right now we do not have any keys which has been expired so let's go ahead and set a key with some expiration time so that should get expired and that should be shown here so let's say we are going to set another product let's call it product 4 and this is going to be probably tv and we want to set it to be expire 
after three seconds so let's go ahead and do that in fact we made a syntax error we have to write ex and then number of seconds so which is three now if i do get product four you can see we are not getting anything because this expired actually after three seconds so if we go here you can see number of keys are still three because the fourth one which we created that was available only for three seconds and after three seconds that key got expired and you can see in the keys expired we have one entry available okay so we can basically see all the keys which has been expired and here you can see information about total memory available so we have created redis instance on a server which is basically having around 4 gb of memory available so you can see in total we have around 4 gb of memory available and you can see what is the memory consumption right now and you can also see some memory limit you can see this uh, db is up from last six minutes and of course you can go ahead and see the version and here are some of the information related to client connection now if you see most of these client connections are created by this grafana dashboard itself because each of these panels are actually firing some query for example you can just go ahead and edit this panel and you can see this is actually connecting to a redis data source and then it is trying to get this info statistics so if i go to redis and i just type info you can see we are able to see some information now the dashboard is basically created based on all of these information for example here you can see once we type info we are getting server related information we are getting client related information so let's say if you want to show total number of clients which are connected to redis instance we can go ahead and pull this connected clients information so we are just going to go to redis and let's say we want to add another visualization here so i'm just going to go ahead add a visualization and here we are going to go ahead choose redis and here i'm just going to go ahead choose info and here we are going to select clients and i'll click on run once you do that we can go ahead and switch to table here you can see we have connected clients information available now of course i can go ahead and click on transform data and click on add transformation we can show or hide some of the fields which we don't need for example in this case we are going to go ahead and only enable maybe connected client option we can go ahead and disable rest of the options so here you can see now in connected clients we have around 11 clients available we can probably use stat as well and here we can see there are total 11 clients currently connected to redis we can also go ahead and probably change the title and call it total clients and you can see this info here let's go ahead click on apply now whatever command which you basically run on redis you can visualize that thing here for example let's go ahead and clear the screen here for example we did keys space star and we were able to see all the available keys now if i want to see all the available keys i can just go ahead click on add visualization and then here we are going to choose type and we here we are going to use command line interface basically cli and here we are going to do keys space star click on run and we need to switch to table and here you can see these are the three keys which are available product one two and three so we are able to see all of these here now if you want to see value of some specific key of course you can go ahead and write that key for example i can do get product one and i can run it so in this case we know that our product one is laptop so that's why we are getting value of laptop and this is how that is going to be shown now we are just going to go ahead go to dashboards going to remove this dashboard so i don't really want to save the changes i'm just going to discard it now select this dashboard go ahead and delete because now we are going to see demo of a redis cluster so i'm just going to go to data sources as well and we can probably leave this uh, data source as it is or if you want to get rid of this you can just go ahead select that data source and then click on delete and this is going to go ahead and delete that data source now let's get back to the server and here we are going to exit and we are also going to go ahead and stop this redis container by doing docker stop redis uh, in fact it is called redis one so i'm just going to do docker stop redis one and we are also going to remove this container by doing docker rm redis one and now if we do docker ps you can now see we do not have redis one container running so let's go ahead clear the screen and you can now see i actually have some uh, scripts available here this scripts is going to help me create a redis cluster using docker container so this script create docker compose.sh it is going to go ahead and create a docker compose file and then we have docker conf which is going to go ahead and create docker configuration file then we have create redis cluster which is going to go ahead and create redis cluster and all of these three scripts i'm going to run in this fourth script 
So I'm running this start Redis cluster and here you can see this has basically uh, just created a Redis cluster and now it is asking this is setting basically this configuration and whether we can go ahead with this. So let's go ahead select yes and now I guess a Redis cluster is created. So if I do docker ps yes we can see there are six Redis instances which are running here. So all of these are part of cluster. So now we are going to go ahead uh, go to the configuration again we are going to go ahead and add a new data source and we are going to select redis here we need to provide ip address of any of the available nodes so i'm just going to do redis colon double slash 192.168.1.19 and then we can go ahead click on save and test as you can see here everything is okay so we are just going to go ahead and import the dashboard again so we are just going to go ahead import dashboard and here again i'm going to copy this id of the template so let's go ahead paste it here click on load and here in the data source we need to select this redis data source click on import and now you can see it is giving us information about this redis cluster as well because now we have set up a six node redis cluster and here you can see total number of known nodes are six and then there are three master nodes which are available and here also you can see information about these three slave nodes and also you can see information about these three master nodes the rest of the things are going to be same so again and here you can see we do not have currently any keys available so that's why we are not getting information about that but i also have a python program which can go ahead and insert some dummy data so here you can see i have insert data pi i'm just going to run it by doing python 3 insert data.py hit enter it's asking how many keys we want to insert so let's say i do thousand it's just going to keep on inserting this thousand key value pair but it's not going to insert everything quickly it's just going to wait for some random one to ten seconds and then going to keep on inserting these keys so here you can see right now we have two keys available i'm also going to go ahead and change the refresh interval to 10 seconds so in the real time you'll be able to see number of keys being increased because uh, our script is going to keep on adding new keys here you can see now we have a total eight keys available in our redis cluster now let's go ahead and stop one of the slave node or probably one of the master node and let's see what is the information which we get here and now let's go ahead and stop one of the nodes so we are going to do docker ps and i'm just going to go ahead and probably let's go ahead and stop this node And let's see now how the changes are reflected here. Now if you have noticed, you can see this one has failed and now this one has taken role of master. Okay, and then we still do have two slaves available. And also if you notice our hash slot has actually removed from here and it has actually moved here. All right, so everything we need to monitor about Redis cluster is already available in this dashboard. And you can still see our number of keys keep on increasing, which means our Redis is still able to read and write data. So that's all in this lesson and I'll again see you in the next lesson.